Hey guys, Nick here with a, another episode of Office Hours. Um, particularly excited about this one because I think anybody, whether you're a completely new um, person to SEO or you've been in here a long period of time, um, I think that you probably could benefit from watching this video, which has to do with controlling and dominating your own SERPs. Um, so, you know, it's something that I see a lot of people ignore. Um, and it's something that I think makes an excellent starting point for any newbie SEO. Um, I've seen countless gurus say, hey, I'm gonna teach you the keys to success, uh, go out and get yourself some clients and you're gonna do fine. I think that's asinine, I think it's um, irresponsible. Um, but what I'm gonna show you today, I think is a good starting point for absolutely anybody. Um, and it's gonna give you the confidence that you need to see and understand um, that there is opportunity here and you, no matter how new, um, can execute plans of attack that are going to resonate positively within a search engine like Google. Um, so without further ado, moving in. So where we're gonna start here is um, with what I built to get started. So um, Nick Altimore is a search query the same way that anybody out there watching this video has their own SERP. So there's a bunch of different ways to manipulate this. Um, I'm gonna show you one of the easiest ones, um, in my opinion, uh, and it's extremely cheap to do. So basically, what I did was I went to a preferred registrar, registrar and uh, just bought nickaltimore.com. It's my name, uh, and uh, you know, I want to manipulate it in the search engines. So first thing I did was just install WordPress on it after paying $10 for it at the registrar. And uh, immediately all I did was write Nicholas Altimore, so a broader version of my name. Uh, and then if you ain't trapping, literally with nothing else on that site. So you've got the title and the URL and um, that's literally all that was on here. What happened was within three to four days, you'll notice that this site's gonna pop up onto page two, three, depending on how popular of a person you are, right? How much press you've had, etc. But you're gonna see especially how potent URLs are um, in going after specific search targets. So here it's a name, right? It's my brand, it's me. So within two days, we've got it on page two. All right, all I did after that was add, what is this like, maybe 300 to 500 words, if that, of content, <laughs> about nothing in particular that, uh, nothing serious, let's say. So just like a joke, you know, love at a party. This is an image that Chris made about me a long time ago as a joke, uh, you know, being a jerk. So I came in here and then uh, decided, hey, why not attack Chris too a little bit while we're in it, you know? And you guys can find out all about why I'm better than Chris if you uh, just dive in here a little bit. But point is, did this literally overnight. You go to my SERP and you'll notice that I was on page one within one night of adding that content to this URL. No outbound links, uh, no links going to this website, nothing at all, okay? We're just talking about basic content, no on-page, um, other than like permalink structure on that post, but um, really it's just, it's a one-page website and already it's resonating in my SERP, right? Um, so next thing that I would wanna do um, would be add some links. So as simple as just like, not even going with heavy hitters, just directories, blog comments, forum links, stuff like that. All very white hat, very accessible, very free, right? Okay, with that, I would expect, I'm talking about minimal effort. Right now I'm on number six for my own search. Um, I would expect that I could get number one or number two just doing basic pillow linking, right? Uh, stuff that I'd be using or things like Nicholas Altimore, Nick Altimore, uh, as far as anchors go, um, nickaltimore.com, HTTP, whatever. Um, so, you know, use variants like you would in any pillow linking strategy. Now, what's important about this? A, 
you're guarding and manipulating your own SERP. Very important, especially if you plan on, um, you know, devoting yourself to something like SEO. It's a selling point. Consider your SERP as a resume, one that you can manipulate. No matter how new you are to SEO, I think it's very easy to say, yes, you know how to buy a domain that's, you know, associated with your name. You know how to install WordPress. You know how to put up a post. That's all you've got to do to get started realizing what kind of variables um, go into manipulating a search query. Now, say you've done this. What does that give you access to as a newfound entrepreneur, somebody who's interested in doing this? What is a business model that can work with this? Maybe something like reputation management. I think that's a lot more accessible to the average SEO that just got started versus um, you know, going after clients, after hard targets, etc. Well, with something like this, you might do a little bit better. If you'll notice, there's a bunch of different ways um, to get different pages up in the SERPs as well for yourself. Um, so you can do this with press releases. You can do it with Web 2.0s. Um, and any other kind of press or um, posts that are associated with your name or heavily associated with it. Now, interesting uh, to note here is, you know, I'm going after Nick Altimore, um, but I'd like to see it for Nicholas Altimore as well. So I've tracked um, just like for two days now what's been going on in the SERPs uh, with this domain. So for Nick Altimore, you'll see over the course of the last two days, jumped three positions. Um, that might be, uh, just for the content reson resonating a little bit better. Um, like I said, it jumped up to page one just with slight content. Um, but you're going to see this continually move up, right? Especially as I add those basic pillow links. Um, Nicholas Altimore, number 30, we've jumped up 11 overnight to ni position 19. So imagine if I hit it with like a PBN or some, a niche edit, something like that, um, depending on, you know, how gray hat you're getting with your, with your work, uh, very easy to manipulate my search. Um, so yeah, now then let's jump into what else I added in there, right? I mentioned Chris, Google is associated with us. You can see in his SERP and my SERP that pictures of each other pop up. It's associated um, our businesses with one another. Um, so I figured, you know, just by adding his name a couple times, it'd start resonating. And if you'll note, you know, page, uh, three to page two overnight, um, along with that content too. And so hypothetically, um, there is a chance that if I wanted to be aggressive, I could go after his own SERP for his own name. This is not something that I would recommend anybody doing. It's a very nefarious practice. Um, I'm doing it here just to outline the fact that uh, just adding slight content can uh, manipulate the data enough um, to resonate in different places. So. And that being said, I, I think I've given you enough to kind of just play off of here. It's a very simple strategy. It's something anybody can do. And I know there's a lot of SEOs, including me, who haven't been very serious about their own SERP, um, but it's definitely worthwhile to get in there and start playing with it. And then as you go on in your business strategy, et cetera, you'll want to um, heavily um, guard this as it is your reputation, right? You don't want somebody able to put press out there or anything like that and just you know tie up your SERP with crap. Uh, this is a um, brand protection type of strategy, but it can also move a lot of you towards new business ventures. So hope this helped. Uh, Nick here signing off. Good luck in the SERPs.